It's not just another bloody circus. It's Circus of Horrors. <laughs> Captain Dan, Demon Dan on stage. Captain Dan is sort of uh, multi-talented, we could say. And with all different types of actors on stage. Could the second one now, I don't can replace it. Yeah. He's going for a second round now. Is it looking good? Yes, Ken. Right, hold on, let's see who we got. We are in the Martin Trudeau, the CPO, the three of them. Come on, Danny, you in it. Yeah. Action time, vision. Like all circus performers, Dan's a skilled professional. That means he can do stunts that you know you mustn't copy at home. And would you really want to? He light balls, opens a, a, a beer bottle with his eye sockets, and then puts fireworks up my arse and light them. Kind of behaviour you'd rightly expect to land someone in A and E. Let's see if we can get the overall up on this. At least two of them. Come on, Danny, little boy, I'm coming to you. Yeah. Oh, 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 and it was in sports fight for a team pop before. The legendary part of his act is um, attaching the Hoover to his William and dragging it around the stage. One night, just before he was due on stage. His key prop took a bit of a bashing. Somebody stood on the end of my Uber and it cracked the suction bit. With a broken nozzle, Dan's Hoover wouldn't stay in place for his act. He needed to fix it, and quickly. So I mended the crack with a super glue. Dan squirted on a whole tube of the stuff. He was already due on stage, but was confident that Super Glue set within seconds. Oh, Danny! I reckon you'll win the trophy. Oh, then there's Kevin Dunn in a few of a close-up on this little boy here. Congratulations! Look at that, Danny, saying, Danny, this teapot smasher, Ryan Darby, and the Circus of Horrors. Oh, that, yeah, that's Look just look at that, Danny. Yeah, there you are. Follow me. Yeah, that's you, Ron. Collected it to me, Dick. Captain Dan would perform his act as normal. Now the normal act, come off stage, put the over off. I thought, hang on a minute. And instead of coming off, he wouldn't come off. He was stuck. I went to tell Dr. Hayes. Dr. Hayes? Yes, Dad. I've seen the glue me with him. How have you done that, you lunatic? I put the Uber go on it. On your dick? No, on the Uber. And he said, I read the label, and he said it'd be drying 20 seconds. So we looked at the label, and it actually said it'd be drying 20 minutes. And then we put him in my car straight after the show, decided to take him to a &E. This is Danny. Uh, yeah. Danny, hold oh, this hammer again, Danny. Look yeah. how big that hammer is. This is Danny. His hammer's quite big. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Yes. <laughs> We're looking after your dog, Nelson. It's all right. What do you say? Get, get, get in. Get, come on, get, get in it. With... Ken? Ken? No, all we need to do is let the This is Ken. Big Ken, little Ken. Me do, Ken. Yes, Tom is at me. I'm told about his sound of smashing glass. Hold on, put my headphones on. Put yours on. Just keep it together there, Captain Dan. When I got to the hospital, I was to get really embarrassed about it. <laughs> Dr. Hayes went in first and informed the A&E receptionist about Dan's predicament. She said, OK, 
said, do you want to bring him in then? And I said, uh, well, I can, but the A&E's full and he's got a hoover stuck to the end of his dick. Next minute, two nurses come out with a wheelchair. And she said, straight to Captain Dan, what have you been doing then? Put me a blanket over me when the hoover's connected. You could tell there was time to laugh, but time to be professional. Right again. International Team Hospital! Stop, please. Please stop, I'll start to confiscate that off you. You're on our premises. Right, okay. Right, that's it, we're going then. Can you come back in 10 minutes? If you buy a ticket, you yeah, we're going to write it. We just need tickets. But which toilet has she gone in, Ken? Okay? <laughs> right, that's going to just leave. Is that all right? Right. Oh, there. Wait, where's the other one? We're just going to have to leave again. Ken, can you just walk us down the building? Ken. Can you come this way? If you would, mate, yeah. Hold on, Ken. Hold on. Hang on, Ken. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> okay, Ken, we're being thrown out. Right. Hello, Ken. Right, this here. We smashed all the teapots on the stage with shows. Yeah, Look, you can start filming now, please. Thank you. Yes, right, okay. Ken, it's been a pleasure. Can you just say goodbye to everybody? Right, can you place this camera off, please? Right, thank you. Yeah, I that. Yeah, thank you for the meeting at Christmas shopping. <laughs> and, uh, We'll come and see you again. Well. That's it. You Thank guys get to trouble. We've been waiting for you. Right. right. We'll see you on the next two of Ken. Right. Thank you, Ken. We're now leaving uh, Derby Assembly Rooms. Ken. Right. Bye, Ken. Right, Ken. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Bye, love. Bye. Bye. Somebody back to the stage door now. Is that alright? Yeah, we've got to go back down to the stage door now and get us tickets. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see you back. We're going to throw us out again in a minute. <laughs> I say, what frequency is your walkie talkie on? Yeah, is it Sam? Is it Mickey Mouse? Know. Ken? 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 See you, Ken. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Good night. Bye, Ken. Good night. Why is it? Right. Can you film Dobby Assembly Room's light up here, Ken? Oh, very painful. Painful because. All the glue was stuck to me, clues and everything. We take soap and water and we gently wash. And we just work on it until the glue frees itself. Is that having a very slow waxing? So once I was able to gently free the hair, you know, I was able just to put a gloved finger into the tube and just tease the skin away from the plastic tube. Every time I look at my penis, all I can think about is this male nurse with his hands all over me. <laughs> Within an hour, the faultlessly professional medical staff of Edinburgh Royal Infirmary had freed Dan's manhood and saved his livelihood. Tonight, Derby Assembly Rooms in the East Midlands. It's been a fantastic night out. See, we've already been thrown out for smashing teapots. Concerned with Danny the Dwarf, um, international teapot smasher, backstage. Um, the security was involved and the management couldn't understand the situation. Uh, what that's happened in the actual event tonight. So we've actually been asked to leave, but then again we might go back through the stage door. The only trouble is I haven't got the um, fire um, diagram of uh, the uh, fire exits to get in. So anyway, it's going in there, hey mate, was it? I can't read Ken alright, because I drove a tractor. 7.15 and they'll be on shortly. Now I need to go to the nearest beer off and go into the belly and throw a sledgehammer.